Hey guys, it's Michelle and we are on day five together of our 31 day business challenge that is designed to bring 2016 to a really, really powerful close and to build momentum for 2017. Of course, if you're watching this or listening to this at any other time, you can press the reset button in your business, press the play hard button in your business absolutely anytime you want. So if you want to uh, go bigger, if you want to go deeper in your business, then this is a great challenge to take. Today is day five and our topic is identify your influencers. I once saw this quote that said, and I want to um, read it to you because I don't want to mess it up. It was so brilliant in its simplicity. Um, it said, instead of putting up a billboard, visit a local business in your area one day each week, bring them a gift, let them sample something that you sell, right? And that was something I found in like some, um, marketing book talking about, um, you know, the power of local, um, local networking and things like that. And I thought, you know what, that's so powerful. A lot of businesses would go out there and they would want to, um, get the biggest and the best billboard and the TV commercial and stuff like that. And this person, this author was saying, but what about just the simple stuff, right? That tell the, the billboard tells people that you exist, but what about going to people in your area who are also serving the community that you live in or that you do business in and asking them to sample your work, allowing them to experience whatever it is that you do. And I thought it was so awesome. Um, so here's what I want us to do for our challenge today. I want us to identify our influencers. Who needs to be exposed to your brand? Look for people who lead their own tribe, who have the ear of your market. Make a list of these people. They are people that if you feel like if they knew that you existed and did the amazing work that we know that you do, if and they decided to talk about you, right? So if they knew you existed and they knew the amazing work that you did and they decided to talk about you, these influencers I'm asking to list, these are the people that you feel like could move the needle in a major way in your business. So how can you do this? How can you let these influencers know that you exist? Here are just a few ideas. <clears throat> You can, um, one idea like out of my playbook that you guys see me doing often now is interviewing them, interviewing influencers for my blog, for my upcoming podcast, for the Practical Profits video interview series. Um, you can um, speak, have them speak at your event. Let me tell you a little secret. Um, even if you go after someone and let's say you know they charge $50,000 to speak at your event and you know you don't have $50,000 to pay them or you wouldn't pay them. Um, you know, going and inviting them to speak at your event, making the request, you know, getting into that conversation, it still actually allows them to know about you, to know what you're up to, to kind of get into a conversation with you. So even if you have an event coming up and you're thinking, okay, well, there's no way Barbara Corcoran would come and speak at my event, ask anyway, because it gets you the exposure to the right influencers that you want. You can write about them without interviewing them and tag them in the article or blog post or YouTube video that you have created about them. You know, think about it. The big names um, in any industry are just like you and I, right? When we see something like, hey, what's Michelle Pippen up to? Or, um, you know, I just wrote this article about Michelle Pippen. Well, this is something that I'm going to click on, right? I have a vested interest in, in what people might be saying in that article. Um, so another idea is you can, you can go direct, right? Pitch them right away. Hey, I think you need to know what I'm up to, right? I think we need to, to discuss like what these plans are and that, that works also, right? That, um, to just go up and in a CEO to CEO approach, not kissing the ring, not drinking the Kool-Aid, but going directly equal to equal. Hey, let's talk. We're in the same space. So that's another option. Um, another option is you can attend their event, right? You can attend their event. Um, just, I caution you about this. Like I, I, I hear people say that they're going to this event or that event to get the attention of this person or that person. And, um, you, you want to make yourself stand out in some way, right? Attending the event, um, in, um, just in itself is likely not going to, um, 
it can be expensive and it's likely not going to be uh, to give you the results that you want. So you want to make sure you have a plan when you go to an event if you are looking to get in touch with the um, with the influencers. So uh, make yourself stand out in one way. Just Don't just attend as an attendee. You can also show, show up and participate on their live streams and or um, you know whatever else they're doing in social media. You can hang out in their Facebook group and add value there. You can ask them questions, um, etc. So you just want to think about how you can get them to be aware of you um, how you can get them to have a taste of you right it's not so much like I'm a shop hip and I run women who wow but it's a it's a deeper taste I want them to experience something I want them to read an article that I wrote or watch a live stream that I'm proud of or something like that um, so you want them to have a taste so that a real relationship a real dialogue can then be developed so that's it on this early edition of our day 31 day challenge um, for today we want to identify the influencers and then brainstorm ways to get on their radar okay so that's it I hope you guys have a great day I will be out of the office most of the day which is why I'm doing the live stream early and um, I look forward to being back with you tomorrow at right around 10 a.m. Eastern talk to you soon bye